Hi, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you the easiest way I found to dry herbs. Now, what I have here is an oregano plant growing in a jar. And I know it's not huge, but I want to show you the process. So I'm going to just give this a trim. I'm going to rinse the leaves off. I'm going to leave them on the stem. And then I'm going to put them on a towel to dry a little bit just to absorb some of the moisture and we'll go from there. Okay, I have given these a little rinse and you can get some of the excess water off with a salad spinner, whatever you choose to do. I'm just putting them on a towel and rolling it up and blotting them, that's it. You don't have to have them perfectly dry because they're gonna dry all by themselves in this very, very simple way. I did get quite a bit off of that little plant. Okay, and so now what I have is just simply a paper bag. And I'm gonna leave the leaves on the stems and I'm just gonna put this in the paper bag. You want a paper bag, not a plastic bag, because you want it to breathe it needs to be able to breathe. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the few leaves that are left on that towel. And just don't squash it down, just leave it um, open, sort of, so to speak. I'm folding over the edge a little bit. And um, we'll go from here on what to do with this. Very, very simple. Okay, the next thing you want to do is just place this somewhere uh, away from a moist environment, maybe not in your kitchen, possibly in your dining room or somewhere like that, and uh, just leave it. And uh, once or twice a day, give it a little shake, maybe turn the bag over at the end of the day, give it a little shake, turn the bag over, and in some number of days, you're going to open this up and you're going to find everything is perfectly dry and looking wonderful. I can't say how long it will take. It depends on what herb it is. It depends on how much you have in the bag. It depends upon how big your bag is and how much air space there is in there. So the trick is just to have your herbs clean and ready to go and just give it a shake, flip the bag over just so we can refresh them a little bit and just do that every day until they're dry. Now, I have in this bag some basil that I dried, and oh, it was probably up to about here on the bag, and now you can see it has dried and there's, it's shrunk up. It doesn't look like there's very much in there. I'll pour this out on the bowl you what it looks like and how dry it is and then uh, like for instance with the oregano after it's dry all I need to do is just kind of crumble it a little bit with my hand and I'll be able to remove the stems away from the leaves and then you can pack the leaves up however you want to store them but as you can see this basil is perfectly dry it looks good and it will be delicious and the oregano will be the same Give this a try if you've got a lot of fresh herbs that you want to dry. It is so simple, doesn't involve any electricity, just a paper bag. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Have a great day.